Alright, so I had some questions about uh, power generation with throwing shots and so I wanted to kind of uh, do a quick little video to show how to do that because it's not really easy to explain, you know, through typing it in text or on Facebook or something like that. Um, the number one thing you always want to keep in mind uh, when throwing and trying to generate power is that that is not intended to come all from your arm. Uh, the power that you throw in your shots is largely generated uh, from your legs on up through your body and torso through mechanics uh, with hip rotation as you throw a shot. So, you know, from a, from a, uh, from a standard kind of stance, and I'm showing you as a left-handed, and I'll switch it and show the other way around, but, you know, so if you have sword foot back, uh, you know, you kind of want to have yourself at a 45 degree angle to your opponent. You don't want to present too much of your torso, it makes too much of a target, and you don't want to uh, set yourself uh, too perpendicular to your opponent uh, because it doesn't put you, one, in a good position to throw and deliver shots for power, and two, in either case, if you're standing too much this way or too much this way, you don't have a good fighter uh, stance, you won't have good balance, uh, both for staying where you want to be, for movement, and uh, for delivering shots with power. Uh, a, a directional force from this direction when you're standing like this would quickly knock you off balance uh, just as a, a directional or I'm sorry a directional force from this direction would quickly knock you off balance and if you're standing this way you know the same kind of situation you're not going to be in a good position to absorb that <clears throat> if you're in a good fighter stance 45ing it shoulder width apart with the legs knees bent kind of want to be up on your toes you want to be able to sort of feel your whole center of mass kind of just drape down uh, you know as if you were hanging down a leveling tool you know it's just gonna come straight down and be centered right there and so that, that gives you good ability to position it gives you good position to move uh, you always want to make sure you're keeping your body uh, relaxed and loose uh, not all tensed up that makes it uh, more difficult to move so if you're tensed up and someone does something uh, you've got to release muscles before you can react and, and do something with those muscles. If you're loose, boom, you're ready to go right away. Um, so with the power, you know, and again, if I'm showing from a standard right-handed stance, you know, you want to be 45, leg kicked out a little bit, shoulder width apart, centered up, you know, almost kind of ready to be bouncy. You know, and so when you're delivering that shot, you know, this is the shield arm, you know, and say so you've got your, your, your sword up in this direction, that power comes from this rotation you know it's almost a dip and a drive a dip and a drive and you're driving off that back leg as you ro rotate through with the torso and that's a force uh, pusher as well as that rotation and then your arm is sim simply acting as the medium which is delivering the strike uh, you know the power is here and this is just this is just the way you're reaching out and touching someone you know so you notice that as my hand finishes, you kind of want that hand to finish in line with your opponent's face uh, or, you know, center line with their body, depending on where you're targeting with your shot. And that way you'll really drive through the shot. Now the rotation, it's just kind of here, 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 here. And there's almost a little pop at the end if you can. You don't want to lock your elbow up because you're going to hurt yourself, but you do want to drive rotate and drive you know so if I'm doing that here I'm gonna go back to my left-handed stance for just a second you know so I'm here I'm in my guard wham and that power comes from this turn this rotation and this mechanism and when you get that flow and that sequence for when that goes the power is just there and so when you come over and you do that on your pelt my pelt looks like hell uh, you know, so you're here and you're just delivering it. So it comes in, bang, there's the power. Bang, bang, bang. And that's not from the arm, that's from this. That's from that rotation. Uh, that's a quick thing I got right off the, right off the bat. Um, if you have any questions with that, feel free to ask. Uh, I'm sure I could cover that a little bit better in a little more detail. Uh, but that's a start. There you go.